Okay, guys, good morning. Uh, back with a former farm kid, and we're just going to go over for a few minutes our uh, water tote hookup and how we haul water to our sweet corn. And as I step back, you can get a little better look at here what a water tote looks like. This is a 270 gallon tote. It is, believe it or not, actually made in the Netherlands. And that's part of the problem with using these things. They're pretty much all proprietary and all made over in the UK. So when it comes to getting fittings, they're pretty plentiful here in the US. It depends on your size, however. Unfortunately, my pump calls for one inch fittings and that has been a bit of a problem. So we'll get into that in a second. But anyway, here is my uh, tote setup, basically. I've got it mounted on my three-point hitch on a John Deere 4230. This apparatus right here is something I actually built for my front-end loader, uh, a 148 front-end loader on my John Deere 4010 and uh, it worked really well so it's it's was basically a homemade set of forks and it worked well for what I wanted to use it for I really used it as a work platform but I uh, got rid of the 4010 it was damaged in a fire this actually was in a fire as well and started looking at it and go, you know what? That spacing actually works on my quick hitch. So tried it out and lo and behold, it worked. The only issue was the arms at the bottom were quite long enough. So I had to extend with some four by fours underneath and then bolt those to the legs. It's worked really well. The only issue, of course, is when this is full of water, which it is right now, it weighs 2,200 pounds plus. So you need a pretty hefty tractor to be able to move with this, let alone pick it up. And this particular tractor, again, it's 42, John Deere 4230, got no front end weights on it. It's got massive rear tires on it. Those are 18 and inch, 18 and a half inches wide. It handles this with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, it does get a little light in the front end when I'm going up a grade, but it hasn't lifted off the ground yet. And uh, they do make different sizes of these totes. This is 275. The next size up, I believe, is 330. And I actually had a couple of those orders ordered, but that fell through. And I'm so glad now I didn't get them because 330 would definitely take the front end of this tractor up. I would have to add front end weights to it. Could it still pick it up? Sure. Yeah, it could, it could still pick it up. The other issue you have to watch is the offset. When it talks about the capacity of the tractor, it's assuming your load is being hooked to these pins right here. Well, as you can see, mine is slightly offset. So this load is moved to the rear, which moves the center of gravity of this back as well. So I try to keep the load canted to the front to move that center of gravity of the tank a little bit farther forward. And it has, it has worked nicely. Uh, I generally let my water loads sit for six to eight hours because it's being pumped out of a creek so kind of let the the fines settle out of it a little bit and that has worked well as too because it is being pumped through a sprinkler hose uh, for focused watering and at night what i will do is i will put a is six by eight underneath it to kind of try to relieve some of the uh, pressure on the carrier and cut down on metal fatigue. So uh, 
Now we're going to look at uh, some of the fittings. Most totes come with what's called, what I call, a gate valve. It's just a flapper in here that when you turn this, it does a really good job of sealing. As you can see, this is perfectly dry. This thing does not leak a drop when you, when you shut the valve off. To this, attaching something that will hook to a hose, that becomes an issue. What came with a tank was this thing. This is a, what's called an S100 by 8 adapter connector, and it screws onto here. But what somebody had done was booger on some kind of a PVC plumbing fitting to it, which wasn't going to help me at all. So I had to find another, <clears throat> and I'm not going to take it apart. I will take that one apart. I had to find another S100 by 8. So what, is, what do those numbers stand for? It's 100 millimeters across, and the thread from ridge to ridge is 8 millimeters apart. So that screws onto there. Well, my line is one inch. So the issue becomes stepping down from 100 millimeters to something that is one inch and there is nothing made. What you have to do is step down to what's called an S60. It's 60 millimeters across and then those come with one inch adapters. So that actually worked perfectly. And under that one inch adapter I put a camlock quick fitting coupler that uh, with, with pipe thread. And all these things can be screwed on just hand tight. Here is the same thing because it has a compressible uh, gasket right here. And I tell you what, when you just do hand tight, you don't even have to torque it on tight. Uh, you just do hand tight and it doesn't leak at all. So I bought these two as backups because it kind of sticks out there and you know who knows what might happen to it. And these are hard enough to find. So this piece is this big piece here. It steps down to an S60. This is an XS60 by 6 adapter, which connects onto it. And then it steps down to a one inch pipe fitting, one inch pipe thread fitting that my quick adapter can screw onto. And I'm glad I did get this one because it turns out I just tried to put one of these on this to show you, and guess what? This is not pipe thread. So it might have said that, but it isn't. So I'm this piece basically now, unless I find something that I can adapt or go from this thread to the one inch pipe thread, I'll never be able to use, which is not a huge deal because so far so good, I don't need it. So then from here, I take my quick, quick fitting cam lock fitting, And there's a washer inside of here as well. And when you put that on there, it doesn't leak a drop either. And then we're going to turn, turn the valve on and feed the pump. So again, this is called an IBC tote. have no idea what IBC stands for. Uh, two different sizes. These are the adapters. I used my suction hose to feed my pump because normally the pump is sucking water to feed the pumping side. So again another quick lock, quick cam lock on this. Uh, this adapter spins on just like this one does the manufacturer of the pump supplies a step down hose fitting so it's still a quick adapter here that i've screwed into a nipple that goes into the hose adapter to feed a hose and that hose
goes all the way down to the end of the field uh, with a sprinkler line. A couple other things, as you can see, I strap the tank down to my carrier. I've got cleats at the bottom that prevent it from sliding around, and I've got support underneath each leg that it uses so that it has a perfectly level and firm support underneath it because when you get 2,200 pounds of water into this it kind of wants to do this. It wants to flex these bottom arms and you know so far so good but I've got to keep an eye on them because that bouncing causes metal fatigue so I've got to watch that. So here's kind of a step back view of the whole setup and again it's a John Deere 4230 no front end, front end weights it's got a massive front axle on this thing that front axle and wheels probably weighs between 400 to 500 pounds so that adds a lot of weight to the front end and uh, the setup has worked really good like I say, or maybe I didn't mention, I don't suck water out of the top of the tank. I could, but that causes a lot of kinking. And why would you suck water out of the bot of the top of the tank when you can you can put positive pressure from the bottom of the tank to the pump? It makes the pump work uh, half as hard, and that way all its horsepower goes into pressurizing the output line. Okay, guys, so that's kind of the, the quick and dirty on the IBC tote, water tote, connector adapters, and these cam lock fittings, these quick quick couplers, you can find those online. They're just they're they're just about everywhere. The difficulty I had was finding one inch. This is one of the smaller pumps. Honda makes and you can look up my review on it as well and how it operates and how it's been working. I've got that on my channel as well and one inch is a little harder to find and there aren't as nearly many different adapters for it and of course the issue comes uh, stepping down from the tank getting those fittings as well. But I was able to do it without knowing a thing about what I was doing and you can do it too. All right, guys, give me a like if you like what you heard.